I think the discovery of these early remains at 1.8 million years old that I believe belong in the genus Homo, which is Latin for man, will be a defining moment for Lee, a positive defining moment. And that's already controversial, isn't it? Oh, Whether yes. it belongs to Homo or not. Oh, yes. Well, Australopithecus sediba. <laughs> he has chosen, and his team have chosen on the basis of the limb bones, the arms and leg bones, the proportions of them, that it belongs in this more primitive genus, Australopithecus, a real tongue twister. But I think that it belongs in our own genus, the genus Homo, which makes them even more important. We've spoken to other paleoanthropologists who believe that Lee's find could definitely be our ancestor. What is it about these finds that makes you so convinced that they're not? First of all, I think that the age is wrong. To find our ancestor, we have to go a lot further back because our ancestors, or things very like us, were around two million years ago. And evolution doesn't happen in 24 hours. So that's one. Two, the anatomy of this thing includes uh, some, some evidence that it had very long arms and quite short legs. This is not a human ancestor, a modern human ancestor condition, at least in the last two million years. Uh, there are features about its foot uh, which suggests that it's not a striding biped in the way we are. So you don't think these are our ancestors? No, I frankly don't. <laughs>